And here we are with a herd of elephants. It's not my herd. I've been closely examining each and every single elephant ear to try and see, because I did take note of the female that we saw, and I've been checking every elephant's ear, which of course, for each and every elephant, has a unique sort of setup of notches and sort of triangles or Vs or cups out of them. And it's definitely not her herd, but there are some truly massive females in this group. The tusks on some of these elephants are enormous here. The females especially, I've noticed. They seem to have really, really long tusks. I mean, there's a female at the back, a little bit further off to the left. There she is. Oh, of course she went. Yes, that one. The one that went behind the other elephant, as I mentioned her. There we go, there we go girl. She's, I mean, that's a female. She's really got incredibly long tusks. And whilst there are a couple of little ones as well, it's not our herd. And I'm thinking that last night with a wobbly tiny new baby, I'm thinking they might not have moved too far away. So hopefully we'll be able to catch up with them and find them. But for now, this is a really very peaceful way to spend a morning. It goes to show just how long the grass here is at the moment, when baby elephants disappear almost completely. And good morning to Stanley, 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 to Stanley times three. You want to know how is the baby elephant doing? Hopefully we'll get, we'll actually be able to find it at some point. I got quite worried yesterday just because it took that little one so long to finally find its feet. And for in the beginning stages when we were sitting watching it, because we saw her kicking it, and I started to worry that it wasn't moving. You, we didn't see any movement from it for quite a considerable period of time. And then all of a sudden this little tail stuck up. And it kept, I mean, the whole standing up process was mostly done bottom first. The bottom kept going up into the air and then the, the front legs just weren't working quite as well as the back legs. And there was one point where it actually fell over and it rolled right over, legs in the air. It was adorable. And mom looked stressed in the beginning and then she calmed down. But the whole process, what amazed me about it, because it wasn't what I expected. In an open area just like this, but with even less grass and even less cover, the whole herd left her. Except for one young elephant, we were debating whether or not it was her older daughter, or if perhaps it was just a, a curious young elephant that perhaps wanted to see what was going on. But the whole herd left her to go through that whole process alone out in the open. I've no doubt if she screamed, if she gave a call of alarm, if lions came through or hyenas came through, they would have come to rescue her. But I was... It was unexpected, because everything I've known about elephants made me expect them to sort of surround her and protect her in the way you see those... I mean, I've, it's my first ever proper elephant birth. With the videos that I've watched, it always seems as though the rest of the herd is there to comfort her. But it wasn't like that at all in this case. So I'm not quite sure. There's so much still that we don't understand about these amazing animals. She's a very old girl. Hey? Beautiful. Look at those tusks. Uh, Robert, I don't think I've observed enough to actually answer your question yet. I know Brent's actually mentioned this female before with the one very long tusk, but Robert wants to know how does the tusk length of the females compare to the males? I've seen some big elephant bulls, but I wouldn't say that they're... I haven't noticed how much larger their tusks are, whereas with the females, they do seem to be so much larger than the ones that we see on Juma. It's just a it's just a small observation. The males that I've seen have been pretty much equivalent. And yes, of course, this area is also famous for having some big elephants, but Kruger actually apparently has some of the largest elephants in the world. But it seems to me that the elephant female tusks are just that little bit larger here, noticeably large actually. Obviously that's genetic. So not all of them will have massive tusks. And Sassy B, you say these elephants are massive. Their tusks are massive. I'm not sure if there's that much of a difference in body size, but to be honest, I find comparing things here really tricky because 
I can't quite tell. There's no, there's no comparison. It's so open and it's very difficult to compare in terms of size. Okay, our elephants are wandering off. And of course, Ali, the cat lady of Juma, is sitting with her leopard.